Hi, this video is going to help walk you through setting up a Chrome profile for our dis student district accounts. So to get started, you'll open up Chrome on your computer or laptop. This won't work on Chromebooks or on phones or uh, tablets because those only take one account at a time. But if you're trying to do this on a computer or laptop, this would be the best route to go. So we'll start by, if you're logged into Chrome with a personal Chrome account, up in the top right hand corner, you'll see a little icon. It could be an image that you've uploaded, a picture of yourself, or it might even just be your initials. Uh, whatever it happens to be, when you hover over it, it'll show whatever nickname you've given it. When you click on that, it'll bring up this profiles menu. If you only have one profile, you'll only see one here. I've got several set up. And I'm gonna add another one. And this is where you'll go to add your student's account. You click add and give it a name. You can give it an icon. You can have it create a desktop shortcut if you want to, but in this case, I'm not going to. And then I'll click Add. And when it pops up, we already have an account, so we're already a Chrome user, so we can click down here and sign in. And here we'll type the full email address for our students. So it's graduation year, first initial, last name at students.cdaschools.org. We'll click Next. And because it did find that it's a valid email address, it says Welcome. And I'll type my password and click Next. And it's going to sign me in. It's going to ask if I want to link the Chrome data to this account. In this case, I'm going to say yes, link data, because that will bring all of my bookmarks. And I'm going to say yes, I'm in for turning on sync. That'll bring everything over. So all my bookmarks that I have from my account, as well as any extensions, uh, will eventually load up. But now this is the, this is loaded up, you'll notice that down on the bottom in your taskbar, You've got your primary Google account, and you have a separate instance of Chrome with that secondary Google account, um, which is for your student there. From here, they can access uh, all their stuff. Uh, if they're trying to get to Clever, they can, um, once the extensions load up over here, they can click on here and that will take them to Clever, get them logged into other things like Google Classroom, um, and all the other uh, district resources that you might be trying to access. If you have any questions or need any help getting this set up, you can email help at cdaschools.org and we'll be there to get you going. Thanks, have a great day.